Hey guys, welcome to another video here at Creator's Theory. So in this video, we'll be recreating the cinematic infinite zoom effect that you just saw. Before that, if you're new to this channel, then do consider subscribing. We have some amazing Filmora related content. So do check them out. So guys, let's get started with the tutorial. So as you can see, I've already added four media in the bin. So this is a video file and these two are image files. So let me, so the uh, tutorial is divided into two parts. So first, in the first part, we'll be trying to uh, edit these images. And in the second part, we'll create the complete video sequence. So let me just start with the first part. So let me just bring one of the images in the timeline. So as you can see, this is an image of a beautiful light with an iPhone. So this is basically what I call an iPhone infinite iPhone zoom because this is an iPhone, this is an iPad and this is an iMac, uh, Macbook, sorry not iMac. Uh, so in this image, so first of all I need to crop this as you can see, you can see these black bars on both the sides. So first I need to zoom this in and make this a complete fill of the uh, screen. So what I will do, I will select this and go to the crop over here. And in this, I will select the ratio as 16 is to 9. So as you can see, you can adjust as per your need. So I'll just keep it over here. Click OK. And the image will be zoomed in. So once this is done, what you need to do is you need to go to sample colors and bring this green color over here. You need to bring this above it. So as you can see, you can't see the image below the green screen. So what you need to do, just click on the green screen and try to minimize it. So what we need to do, uh, the one main, main part about this tutorial is that for zooming into objects, you need to have a particular shape. So the square shape is the one most recommended. So if you want to go inside the uh, image, but try to find a square shape in the image. So as you can see, the screen is square. Uh, square. So I'll be using this, and I will putting this, uh, covering this uh, square uh, shape with this green screen. So as you can see, you can try as uh, best as you can. It's a little difficult, but try your best to cover the screen. So once you can, once you are done, uh, so I think that's the best I can do. So once you're done, what you, what you need to do is you need to create a, click a snapshot of it. So here you can see a camera image, which I, if you hover over it, it will show snapshot, snapshot. So just click on it and uh, a image will appear at the bin. So you don't need this uh, anymore. You can uh, remove this from the timeline, but we will use this green screen further. So now the next thing is we need to do this with the uh, iPad and then the MacBook. So I will fast forward this uh, part. The similar thing needs to be done, but I will be covering this green screen. I will bring this over here and I will covering this green screen with, uh, for, with the screen of this iPad. So similar thing will be done with the uh, MacBook Pro as well. So guys, as you can see, I have uh, added the green screen over all the three images and I've clicked the snapshots of it. Now, I, I don't really need all these three images. I will be using the green screen images over it. So the first thing is I need, I will bring the first thing I will bring into the timeline is the video because it will be at the bottom most layer of the uh, of the sequence. So once I bring the video, the next thing is I will bring the laptop because it will be at the bottom most layer so here is the laptop then i will bring the ipad then 
then I will bring the iPhone. So now as you can see it is a, like a ladder formation. Uh, so this is important because it needs to jump from this to this to this. And this video will be at the extreme uh, bottom. So now what you need to do as you can see we can see the green uh, part of the screen. So you need to click on the first video and then click uh, hover over here a green screen but uh, this will be there icon. Just, so just click on it and just click OK. Now you can see this is the green screen of the image behind it. This is the green screen of the iPad. So now click on the iPad and go to the green screen and click OK. Now go to the laptop, click on the green screen. As you can see it is selected, click OK. I think it didn't, didn't get selected. Yes. So as you can see, uh, so now if we play the, as you can see it is not moving. So we need to animate this now. So what we need to do, first we need to select the first video, go to crop and zoom and go to pan and zoom. So in pan and zoom, click on the, see this is the start part, the blue thing and the red is the end part. So click on end part and just smaller down and move it inside the screen so what will happen this will start over here and move down at the end it will end inside the screen the animation so once it is done click ok now do this same for ipad as well click on it go to crop pan zoom and at the end finish inside the ipad click ok and So oh, you will not do this animation in the last since uh, if you want I, I want this uh, video to be shown as playing in the uh, MacBook Pro. So if you want to go this beyond that so you need to uh, add the animation here as well. But if you want to stop it over here so this will be the last part you will be adding the animation to. So now let's first uh, render this uh, video and now let's play it. As you can see the effect has been implemented so in the same way you can use the same uh, image again and again and again and you can show the infinite zoom uh, using a particular image only as well so that's it guys with this video hope you guys like it uh, we have some amazing more tutorials related to filmora so you can check them out in our channel and if you're new and if you like the video do consider subscribing this would help us a lot so that's it guys, see you guys in another one, till then, see ya.